designs and uh, start designing. So um, during the design phase, it really felt like we didn't have any boundaries. Um, the only thing that really mattered to us is that the form also looked very aerodynamic. Uh, furthermore, also the, the principle behind the cooling was really important for us. So we, we thought of a lot of different things. And eventually one concept came out. The final concept is the oblique. Our vision was that the air would flow over a surface, a really nice truncated aerodynamic shape, and that the air would enter in the front and is guided through air vents inside the helmet and actually at the back. This way the cyclist has maximum cooling. So the next step was to put it in 3D. Uh, through an iterative process uh, we improved a lot of small and big things about the design and finally we took it uh, to the workshop, we actually made it and we got really excited about trying it in the wind tunnel. Yeah. So we had a week to build the model uh, before it had to be tested in the wind tunnel. Uh, there were two main objects to create, uh, the torso and, and the helmet. Uh, of course the helmet was the biggest challenge. Uh, we made the helmet, uh, we milled the helmet in two uh, separate parts and milled it from both sides. Um, and then with a lot of epoxy and plaster uh, we created a nice surface so it was ready for paint. Um, eventually when all the straps and, uh, and, and, and pads were placed in, the helmet really became to life as a real model and we were really anxious to see what was happening in the wind tunnel. The test took place in the wind tunnel, where multiple helmets from BBB's current portfolio were compared with the Giro and our own helmet, the Oblique. To our great satisfaction, the Oblique tested better than other helmets and it created less drag. This is Todd. Todd is a haptic device for online communication. It enables people to experience a sense of touch while communicating with each other over the internet. Todd is developed for parent-child relations. It is meant to be used when distance hurts. Imagine a child in a hospital. It is after visiting hours and she can't sleep. She misses her mom and just wants to hold her. Todd allows her to feel that warm, protective presence of her mom, even though she's not there. The shape of Todd 
is inspired by the way people hold hands. You hold the shape and the shape holds you. The shape of Todd was derived from an ergonomic research. The final shape is chosen for its enclosing comfort. Over the past half year, our team has been working hard to achieve this goal. We went from basic mock-ups to 3D printed shells filled with electronic hardware. Now, let's see what's inside. In the shell, a lever secured by a pin creates a squeeze, combined with a connection part and a solenoid, which will provide the force of the squeeze. A PCB will house all electronics together with an Arduino. A Bluetooth module will transmit all signals with a battery as a power source. The hole is covered with the other shell. On the outside, vibration motors are placed with added padding. Sensors are placed on the back and also covered with padding. Lastly, four screws are used to fasten the hole together. How does it work? Very simple. When you hold the product and squeeze, Todd will transmit a signal to its twin, which will, in its turn, squeeze in the hand of the person you're communicating with. In a very early stage of the design process, we started building these very rough prototypes using only foam and rubber bands, just to explore the possibilities and to prove that we could actually recognize exercises using basic electronics. We made the electronics of our prototype as compact as possible by using a multi-layer structure of circuit boards. We continue to develop our prototype to a standalone and compact unit which allowed us to test in a real life scenario. A biocoach is a sensor device which measures the movement of the patient during exercises. And the patient can give his input to the device. So he can rotate the button, display the pain level, and he can press it and submit what he has done. The patient can also request his uh, progress by pressing the button in the middle and you see I have one light, so uh, I better start uh, and uh, get, go exercising. Throughout the whole design process, the product was always represented by drawings and virtual models, which can never represent the true look and feel of the product. This 3D print represents the true size and shape of the biocoach as we designed it. So in conclusion, the band is made of elastic velcro, frame is made of palm, knob 
is made of translucent PA to the LED skin shine trim and the housing is made of TPU. The interface is where the physiotherapist can really experience the benefits of the biobridge. It will function as a medium which he can use to communicate with his patients. As a team, we gain a lot of experience from this project and we think that this is reflected in the product we've created.